top of the morning to you lotties. My name is Jocksepticeye, and welcome back to another reaction video. And today, we are going to try not to cringe or laugh. And I am with my favoritest YouTuber of all time, Jocksepticeye. Okay, and today, we are going to be reacting to his, you know, newest... Our first try not to read to uh, cringe or laugh uh, video. And next, I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna do next. But, uh, it's gonna be Markiplier. Anyways, let's start this. Good <laughs> morning, you ladies. My name is Jack Guy and welcome to to uh, try not to cringe or laugh or I don't know. These always turn into one or the other. I'm instantly intrigued. Keep going on, sir. They're, try not to cringe and try not to laugh are very close to being in the same spectrum. I'm already laughing, and he hasn't showed a damn clip. Each other. But I've wanted to do one of these for the longest time, and I, I really wanted to do one when I saw Felix do one. I did one before you! Ha! Oh wait, PewDiePie did one before me. Because I, I, I always had the, the mindset that I was going to be awful at these kind of things. Because whenever something cringy happens, my, I, it looks like I suck on 14 lemons all at once. Or, uh, like, I cannot see other people feel uncomfortable. If I see other people feel uncomfortable, I just start, like, curling into a ball. And I'm off. Whenever somebody tells me not to laugh, that's all I can do is laugh. I can't keep a straight face. And I always say that I'd make a terrible actor or something. Um, so, and the, the reason I didn't do one for ages is because I couldn't find the right videos. But now, I think I have a good, a good uh, collection of videos that I can go through that might make me do one or the other. So, again, I don't know what one to, what to call this. Try not to craft. Try not to craft, really? Ah, okay. So it's gonna be long, especially since it's like 16 minutes. Holy shit. Challenge. Try not to linge. <laughs> let's Tell get off. going. Zen. Zen, let's do this. Because <laughs> you know me. Hi, Jacksepticeye. How do you do? Top of the morning to your shunga, Zen. <laughs> oh, all I do is fucking giggle at everything. Okay, this one is called Burn. These might be more on the cringier side of things. This one, this video is just called Burn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Come on. Come on, what? It's your life. Take I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm with Jackaboy on this one. <laughs> Are they gonna kiss or not? Dude, take the fucking hint! Sorry. Oh, you're making her so uncomfortable! Oh, dude, just let it go! Oh! Oh, lady, just please leave. Leave. Oh, God, dude. No, you're being a creep. God, Jesus Christ! One video in, I can't do it! Oh, that was too much! I I'm sorry for the lag of this video, I'm sorry, because I'm doing a video within a video within a video within a video, so, let's continue. See, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about, I can't do it! But other people are uncomfortable, it just makes me, oh! I can't, because Jack, Jack? I can relate so much, not to the scenario that was just happening, but I can just, I can put myself in other people's positions really, really well. Oh, that was awful. Oh god, dude! That was so fucking creepy. <laughs> right, this one know. is from Survivor. I think this should be okay. This is called Survivor Love at First Sight. So hopefully it's not as bad as the last one. That was a humdinger to start off on. God, I wish I knew it's like the rating of these. How how much cringier or laugh-worthy they are compared to the next. Okay, let's go. So like I was saying, I'm playing the game. That's what I came here to do. My prize isn't even the million dollars. My prize was that I I fell in I, I fell in love in this game. Love at first sight. Her name is Candace. And uh, in between... <laughs> Candace from Ruro Tribe. Yeah. After the last challenge, we sort of mouthed the words I love you to one another. And so that was my prize. And my prize was her. We love you. 
I love you. What? Oh my god! This is count as cringing! I'm not cringing! No! Not at all! Oh my god, that poor dude! Did he really think that the girls... The girl loved him just because they said, we love you? Oh, that poor guy! Oh, now I just feel bad for him. <laughs> This one's called, Woman Confronts Waka Flocka Flame. I, I don't know what that this is. Waka Laka Fong. Aereo with the freestyle. That's what it reminded me of when I heard it. Okay. Let's get in. I'm just going to fail miserably at this, by the way. It, it, it's just going to be, how many times do I laugh in this video? Okay, go. someone who has more than just a focus on uh, technology. Oh god, he looks like Billy You're West. For someone who has oh! Go for it. Tell us. Just speak to me. Talk, like we're sitting at the dinner table. Go ahead, Richard. What do you have? What can you offer? Oh! Regroup for a second. No God. problem. Okay. Go ahead. Take it again. Okay. You're looking for someone who is more oh. than just technology set and the determination to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Fantastic, Richard. Thank All right, you, Lyle. And oh, you. It's okay. You don't have to thank us. We're gonna move right on to oh. Lyle Nasser. Go ahead, Lyle. Fucking Richard's the man. Richard, fucking round of applause for that dude. He was so nervous. I felt so bad for him! He, he, he knew what he had to say, but just nerves got the better of him. You could see it in his face. He was so terrified. And then he, he got through it. And fair play to that lady. She let him finish. Richard Bachowski, you're the man. I, I believe in Richard. Richard is... Not only was he terrified, but he overcame his fears, and he got through what he needed to do. Try not to laugh or cringe challenge. More like, get inspired, people. <laughs> also, he looks like Billy West, the dude who does like uh, Fry and oh, yeah, and the professor from Futurama's voices. Oh no, this one's called Joe Biden creepy kiss of Senator's young daughter. Oh, oh, it's cringe factor four, people. It's oh no. Okay. Caution, everybody. 
Remember to exit the nav, the left building. If you are an age of zero years old, then you leave the building. Why, thank you. This is about to get freaking... Like, you look, you heard Jackaboy right here. It is Cringe Factor 4. Level 4. If Cringe Factor Level 4 hurts you, I suggest not to watch this video. Point on. If you are not indulged in the Fear Factor 4, into the Cringe Factor 4 level, then stay. Because it's about to get really cringy. Ah, it might not be so bad. It might not be so bad. Thank you. Thank you. All right, nice to see you. Oh! Thank you. See you back home, I hope. Oh, absolutely. Okay. What was he saying? I don't understand the thing. But that right young there. girl looks so creeped out. And I heard something about a 13 year old son. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Joe, why? Why? Nothing can be worse than that. Surely. Mother of God. Man gets removed from a kindergarten concert. Oh, God. Why is it all the child stuff together? What? You being racist. English only. English only. Oh yes, please kick him the fuck out. Yeah, jeez. America. <laughs> Look at the one dude is just like America. <laughs> the ironic patriotism. <laughs> Oh my god! Get on that lady! Holy shit, fuck that dude! English only? Really? I thought America was like a place with like the most multicultured, like spread of land, like the most, the biggest diversity of cultures. That's what I'm trying to say. It's oh, like a doctor. Okay, Charlie. Wait, I'm gonna sit here and just hang out with my new best friend, Bikina. Really? It's weather. Oh, yeah. I think you should, you two should get a, uh, get a hotel room or something. There's a lot of, <laughs> lot of action going on over there. Oh, Charlie. Probably the most action you've had in months, huh? <laughs> Let's take a look at the weather. Forecast. <laughs> Oh, well, I crack myself up if I don't crack anyone else. <laughs> 69 degrees. Nope. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. Nope. Oh. God. Two women caught stealing a canopy on the beach, then attack. Is that yours? No. Yeah, but I don't know how to do it. Oh. You need some help? Yeah, this is our stuff. This is yours? Yes. This is ours. No, it is. This is all ours. Uh, all of it. The chairs, the bag, this is all our stuff. My kids. Yep, that's my kids. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll let it slide. But I'm glad I, I made it in time. No, I'm not making it slide. I'm oh. telling you. No. You, you, no, you, no, step away from my shit. How about that? Will, and then I'm gonna get that camera and put it in the grass and you're gonna like that. Step back. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Seriously? Yes. What the fuck? Oh my god, I hate people like that! I am literally losing faith in humanity. I don't care if it's copyright. I am losing faith in whom in humanity right now. I am absolutely losing faith in humanity. Who we were just completely blindsided and caught absolutely red-handed. Completely and unabashedly caught red-handed. And then they feel so awkward about themselves.
themselves that they feel like they have to lash out at somebody else because they have no idea how to handle the situation. Just, you did a shitty thing. Just say, okay, we're sorry, we'll move off, and that's it. The dude was cool. He wasn't even going to press charges or say that you were stealing anything or any, anything like that. But no, you had to poke further. Oh my god, why? What's wrong with humans? <laughs> this one's called botched proposal. Oh. Some people are going to just be saying in the comments, Sean, you just wanted to do this video so you could watch this video, huh? I'm like, no, I wanted to do a reaction video. I haven't been in a while. And I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much, like, in the Peter Pie video, but, you know, I just want to actually get used to this coat. It's really not cringy. I mean, I laughed a few times at the beginning, but it's just gotten, like, really depressing. God. Oh, this might be it. This might be where my face gets so cringy, it sucks itself right out through the back of my head, <laughs> decapitating me. Why should I? We're going to run right <laughs> He lost the ring. He lost the wedding ring. <laughs> oh no! 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 Oh, it was supposed to be a beautiful one. I thought the dude was just gonna do it cringily, or he was just gonna be really awkward and shy and everything. Oh no! That's the thing. He looks at her, but like it's not her fault. She she ended away by accident, and she she looks like she was gonna start crying, and she feels just as bad. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Why did I decide to do this? Don't ask me. Oh, I need to go into my anti cringe bunker. What is it you're gonna do for us today? Oh, to, a comedy, God. to a comedy school. Did you pay to learn? 200 pounds. Okay, good luck. Are you all alright? Yeah. No, you are all all left. Only funny part about this. <laughs> they all murdered her off the shelf. Oh, she had the balls to do that, though. That's what it's all about. Who cares if she didn't, if her joke wasn't funny, or she didn't win, or anything like that? She had the gusto and the balls to get up there and do that in front of thousands of people. Yeah! Fair play to that lady. Last one. Last one. We can do this. Chuck Giampa or Giampa fails Showbox debut. Also joining our broadcast team tonight, a man who had a long and distinguished career as a ring judge, over 3,000 fights judged, 132 of those were world championship matches. Tonight I will be taking you inside the mind of a judge. Tonight I'll be taking you inside the mind of a judge. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Alright, so Chuck will be joining us uh, tonight to add um, his... Oh, poor Chuck Giampa. Oh, God, it's not easy to do that. He's not a reporter. He's not a broadcaster. He's just a judge who came on board to do this. It's very nerve-wracking to do that stuff. Yeah. Get up. It's like, imagine when you're in school and you're told that you have to do a presentation. You have to get up in front of the whole class and do a presentation. It's not Sir, you're describing, like, what I have to do by the 27th. Jack Septicai is filling me with determination. Not easy. He's doing it in front of a bunch of people like that. That's not that's hard. A lot of people looking at him. Chuck Giampa. Chuck Giampa, everybody. Hey, that does it for this. Try not to whatever challenge. Mm. Laugh, cringe, whatever. I think I did more cringing than laughing. Try not to be ashamed of humanity challenge. Some of those were horrible. Some of those were so hard to get through. But others were oddly inspirational. Seeing people get up and do that stuff in front of Dozens of people, thousands of people, and then get through the stuff that they had to do, and then others I just felt really, really bad for people. I don't... Very few of them, except the first one... Actually, no, I still felt bad for that girl. Very few of them actually made me cringe. A lot of them just made me feel like, get the fuck out of the situation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, 
punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I think he's alright. And that is for me to remember to be awesome, stay awesome, and remember to like and subscribe. For now, this is my ending to the second cringe episode or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next one.